Hi, I'm Raz, and welcome to Gardening Online. And this is my allotment. And it's not really a particularly nice day today. It's a bit wet. But we've got jobs to do. And one of my jobs to do is to try and put up this polytunnel frame so we can start planting it in spring. I've got an old polytunnel here which I covered over with netting. And this polytunnel was originally here when I came and the cover got damaged after around one, two months, uh, about a year, maybe one year. So I replaced the whole cover with scaffolding netting. And I got this blue netting from scaffolders and it was free of charge. So that's a real bonus. So the whole thing was completely free. Scavenged a bit of wood, and there's a, there's a video on the channel about me doing this. So go back and have a look at my video. But today, this was my compost bin. And we've moved the compost bins further along the back. And now I intend to spread this tunnel further back, right through to the cage. But one thing I need to do is to remove the back of this cage. And then we can enter the bars and we can come through. This polytunnel frame was given to me by my good old friend across the way, Colin, and gave me it to be able to do this. There's no instructions, so I'm just making it up as I go. I've got many bits, holes lined up here, and I guess I'm kind of making a similar kind of pattern that I've got here. I've just picked up these bolts from B&Q, and they were pick and mix fill up a bag for £4.60 and I went to the screw manufacturers, the screw suppliers, the screw fix, tool station and they were selling 10 volts for £1.50 but I managed to get all of these washers, bolts for £4.50 so I'm quite pleased. I've chose a rather long bolt because in some of these I have to have a cross member I wasn't quite sure of the length, so hopefully I've got it right. So, one thing I need to do is to move this water back, move this compost bin, take off the back, and then we can go. So let's get on with that. I do apologise if you can hear a buzzing above. So that's from the telegraph, the electric piling above my plot. All I did was when I put this here, I rolled up the netting and added cable ties. So it's just as easy to remove than it is to add on there. There we go. And we can remove this now. I did strengthen this polytunnel with a bracing bar across the back. But as this is going to be a walk through, this is going to have to come out. I did screw this in, so I'm going to have to find some spanners to unscrew it. So, I've removed all of the back and I haven't removed the water trough yet as I had a thought, if I leave that there I could have water in the tunnel so I might just leave it there, but I'm going to join these pole to this pole 
And that'll make it super tidy, super strong. And that works really well. Cool. So now I've got this attached to the main frame, we can work out how far these bars go across. And that wasn't a bar off stress. Luckily, the bolts are long enough to go through two. There we go. How's that? This one can go a bit further along. You can actually make this tunnel longer than even what I thought it was going to be. We've got four upright bars. We only need three, but is it worth continuing? along further. Gonna have to think about that. Well, that works really good. And it's already secure. Good job. I'm just adding the top bar. And I think it's gonna work out well. None of this was planned, and it's just literally sticking a few bolts together. And it's working out okay. I've got a few more bars I could probably strengthen it with. But you know what? I think that's good. That's just really, really rough. I think that's going to work. So I'm just tying it up from a distance. And that looks pretty good. Just need to tighten up the middle bar. I reckon that's good. I'm just going to replace this bolt on top with a slightly longer one. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Hmm. I might need to get a, a longer bolt. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a longer one. I wonder if. Uh -huh. I wonder if that will go inside. This pole is slightly larger. It's going to be a right job. That will slide. Aha! Uh -huh. That will work. Slide it into there. One bolt straight down. I need to get a hammer and get that bolt out. That's going to work perfectly. Perfectly. This is going to be a job to get all three. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. We're going to get all three bars lined up together. Whoa! Look at that. That is perfect. I'm going to pick up all these bolts off the floor now. Oh. Do you like to add jobs? 
So that absolutely works perfect. Look at that. Three bars in one. Couldn't get any more perfect than that. This was the spanner that come from the greenhouse. Before that I was able to do this. Works quite well. So that is solid. That's not going anywhere. This cage has been here for two years now. And now look at that. Perfect. Yay! Got to pick up these bolts now. Talk about adding jobs. So the sun's now decided to come out. So I just need to tighten up all these bolts. We need to get a bit more level, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So please, I managed to add a cross across the back. It's not using the right bars, but it would do. I've added a cross here. They're all joined together, all bolted together, and we put some cross panels to here. I guess they should be in the right place, but we've made do with what we've got. We've got a few poles left, but I think we're going to deal with that. We'll keep it as we are. Now I've just got to go around tightening up all these bolts. Done. So I found this piece of netting that was on a frame and I think that's perfect for the last bit. Well I've just done these by rolling up the two lots of netting from this one and this one and then we're just using a cable tie pushing them through the whole both sides bringing this round to the front so it's a nice pattern and then we can just zip it up and we can go all the way around Doing the same. And this one, we've just stretched it to come across. We haven't quite got enough, so I'm going to try and make do. This is quite stretchy. I'm just stretching it over just with a cable tie, fixing it in. When we come to do the next one, we can tie this in together. But it's looking good already. It's looking good already. I just need to go around wrapping these all up, holding them all up. Not going to do this this side too much. As when I come round to doing the other side. This will get folded into here too. I need another bit. I need one more bit. It's a bit annoying. So this is what I'm doing. I'm grabbing hold of the netting on the other side and I'm rubbing them in between the two. I got this idea from Tony. 
from the little farmer's farm who's done all his polytunnels in a similar way and he told me to do this this way and it works good and it's quite tidy having all the ruffles on the front makes it look quite tidy So this scaffolding netting has just been on the allotment site, so I haven't had to pay anything. So this whole netted tunnel has come out completely free. It's got holes in, we can deal with that. It's not a great hassle. So here we are. At the end of the day, we put a cover on the whole of the tunnel. And that's a shame the last one doesn't really map, but it's an allotment. That's a shame, so now that's just a, a lovely walk in, walk out, that's a decay. There's going to be so much youth in the coming season. All I need to do now, I still need to finish it, still need to finish the bed, finish the bottom, finish the back, but we've pretty much covered most of that, just tidy up, fill in some holes. But I'm really, really pleased with that. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. And have you? got a netted cage if you've got an old polytunnel you can use for a netted cage then maybe worth a go it's so much good so good really last year the sprouts well, you can even see the sprouts are so good so anyway thank you very much and please subscribe ring that bell get notifications when i post some more and let's get growing cheers